Hey guys, so what you're about to see is my little video I put together to show and uh, how show you all how I was going to go about finishing up the May section for my 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 year 2017 journal. I um, <laughs> I just let it sit for a few weeks and I did it like half the month and then I just let it go. So I thought there might be some of you others out there who are trying to document um, your um, year and you might have the same issue where life just gets in the way and you do collect your bits but then you never put them in. And so that maybe you might want to see somebody else who does the same thing and how, how I solve that problem. So it's kind of a long video. It's part of the My Year 2017 Facebook group. If you're not part of that group and you'd like to be, uh, the link is in the description below so check it out. And uh, here we go. This is just a little bit of a bonus video but like I said it's kind of a long chatty one. I decided to chat through it instead of fast forward. So if you, you may like it, you may not, let me know in the, in the comments. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. All right, that's it. I'll be back in a bit. Hey guys, how are you today? Can you see the mess on my desk? <laughs> all right, it is, I am such a bad example for you all. It is June, what, I don't even know what day it is. It's Monday, June 5th. And I have yet to close out my year 2017 journal for May. <laughs> That's right, I said May. This is why my desk looks this way. Now, maybe you're like me. I wasn't going to film this, but then I thought, hmm, maybe you're like me. And you, uh, you know, documented part of the month or you got the month ready to document and you collected all you, your bits but they just never went in there, then what do you do? Then you just kind of feel like, I just don't even want to even put them in. Stop. Don't think that way. Um, let's, we're going to put them in and I'm going to show you my thinking behind um, what I've kept and what I've kept that I'm not going to stick in there and why, what I've kept that will go in there, what I've kept that I knew when I kept it was just extra and something I was going to do something else with. All right, so let's get going. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet too. No guarantees though. Okay, so here is my um, traveler's notebook that I've been using this, this year. And this is May and I, this is as far as I got in here. <laughs> just this is worth looks cute what I did looks great but you know I didn't do too much more <laughs> so let's fix that shall we now I don't know about timelines on most of the things there is a couple of things I do know um, or have a timeline for my anniversary my daughter's graduation um, which are towards the middle or end of the month. And then Mother's Day was in there, but I don't remember what day that was. Was it the 21st? I don't even know. See, I didn't even write it down. It doesn't matter. All right. So we're going to start with the thing that I think happened towards the beginning of the month, or at least before other things. And that would be my cousin and his wife adopting a sweet little baby boy. That was a lot of fun to celebrate that with them. And I have a copy of the invitation that I want to somehow, some way use in here. And I think what I want to do is just something like that. Uh, let's see. Unless there's a better place to put it. But I don't think so. I think I want to... Yeah, I think I'm going to follow my instinct and I'm going to stick it here and we're going to just staple it in. I like the industrial look of staples. It's just, oh, except you have to have staples in there. <laughs> it's just something that I'm really enjoying at the moment. And uh, I like the industrial sort of messy look of them. The imperfect look. So let's grab some and this is the Tim Holtz tiny attacher for those that don't know you can get it at any of your stores that carry Ranger products they usually have this and use a coupon so 
So the little boy's name is Carlos. He's an adorable little boy. And I am so happy for my cousin and his wife. That works. I love it. All right. Next. Let's take some of these, which are from, I had my first um, sponsored video, paid for sponsored video, the, uh, this um, at the end of May, uh, actually aired June 1st, but the process happened in May um, with graphic stock. These are some of the stickers I made from some of their images. So I am going to use some of them in my journal. I really love some of the images that I was able to make into stickers. And then of course we'll write on here. It was a lot of fun to celebrate them, although I do have to say that it was down near Gilroy, California, and they picked a day that was almost 100 degrees. It was really hot. All right, let's put those to the side. And then we did, here's our book club. And this is celebrating the donation to the women's shelter. That was a lot of fun to do. Here's another blank space. And I am going to take some of these green tickets that are on my table. This is one of these things that I would collect to use in my journal knowing I'm not going to use all of them and I'm going to put the rest of them in my stash of stuff. So I'm going to tear off like three of them and these I'm going to keep and I'm going to go, I have a little bin of tickets so these are going to go in the bin and this is going to go here. I do need some sticky tape, double stick tape. Let's get some out. And this it was another charity event that we went to uh, this last month called Hot Wheels for Kids. Um, it's a fundraising charity for foster care that my husband go to every year. It is organized by one of my husband's Masonic brethren. And it is a old car show. And they had a bunch of beautiful cars and I of course took some pictures. And I got this one of a old Chevy, just of the hood, kind of an artistic shot. I might try to paint it someday, although I won't do as good as some artists I know out there, like Andre, uh, Alexandra Kube. She does a fabulous job with cars. I'll never be able to match hers, but I may have to try it. It's a really good shot. So we're going to put that there. Then I have sort of a funny picture here of my coffee cup and my inhaler and allergy meds. I made a, um, a joke about, you know, uh, the breakfast of champions, uh, <laughs> being that it's going to be one of those kind of months, uh, or seasons where I'm just taking loads of allergy medicine. <laughs> I'm going to put that there. On our anniversary, my husband actually went out and I went out for Chinese food. We're in the midst of some home renovations, so we wanted to not really spend a lot of money because we're sort of getting each other a new bathroom this year for all the holidays. <laughs> That's where we're spending so much money. It's just all the holidays. But we and we also love Chinese food. And this was in one of my for one of our fortune. It was in my fortune cookie. And can you read that? It says, "You will soon miss witness a miracle." <laughs> so I thought that was great. So I'm going to actually stick that right on the calendar because I love that. That was my phone. Sorry. I'm going to throw these away. So now, of course, now let's stop and do some more journaling.
Okay. Turn the page. We've got some more space to work with. We've got more stuff. All right. My daughter graduated college this month, you guys. <laughs> it was a big deal. But I think we're going to do... Um, we're going to do Mother's Day first. For Mother's Day, they all asked me what I wanted. And I, like I've already said, didn't want to spend a lot of money. Um, but I did say I want us all to spend some time together. I'd like to go to Santa Cruz. I'd like to um, go to the art supply store. And so I was able to do that. I needed a few things I'd saved up. And we just went walking around the area. We love to go down there on the main street and there's a couple of used music stores there one of them had this really great card advertising some sort of concert but I mean I had to pick that up how do you not pick that up so we're gonna we're gonna tip that in I got a smashed penny at the boardwalk at one of the smashed penny machines so we're gonna stick that in we had a really great lunch at this Italian delicatessen and the kids got me a dick blick gift card and don't you love the way the kids signed it future son-in-law they're hilarious okay so for the penny let's do the penny first you can put these things in your journal you have to of course use a appropriate glue it's a heavy metal thing um e6000 of course would work he extra heavy gel medium also works use what you have um, and I think it's easier for me to get to the gel medium, so we're going to do that. Um, yep, here it is. Because we're going to pretend that I do know where my E6000 is, but I just can't reach it or something. <laughs> we're going to just pretend that I don't, I haven't misplaced it again. <laughs> so I'm going to just take a blob of gel medium. I'm going to butter the back of the penny. I've done this many times. And then you just want to push it down. You want some to little squeeze out around the edges. It's going to take a while to dry. So when you're done, you're going to have to hold your journal open. Prop it open. Let's get some tape for that great art card because I want to get that in here. I'm really loving this month using the decorative masking tape. I'm not sure why but I, I just like it. There doesn't have to be a reason does there? Alright. I'm going to put this on here. I'm not going to stick it here. Oh, i got to move the penny then. <sighs> Just lift it up. Pretend I knew what I was doing. <laughs> You can help the gel medium along a little bit by heating it up, but keep in mind that the penny is metal and it's going to get hot too. So please take precautions against burning yourself or lighting something on fire. Because I don't want to hear, how did you hurt yourself, ma'am? How did you burn yourself? I lit myself on fire when I was art journaling. Uh, <laughs> let's just not have that conversation, okay? All right, so we're going to take this menu. Now, sometimes I'll take the whole menu and I will stick it in and put a pocket there. Sometimes I'll just cut it apart. And I think in this case, I'm going to cut it apart. And I'm going to take the front of it. And we are going to cut out the part with the address on it and the web, the URL for their website. That way, if somebody says, Mom, where, or Grandma, or where was that deli? And I would say, well, it, I, don't, I, can't, I, don't, I can't tell them I don't remember because it's in the journal. And I could always say, go look in the journal because I don't remember, but it's in there. And you'd be surprised how many times I have that conversation with people. It 
was a great little mom and pop Italian delicatessen down on the main drag in Santa Cruz and um, down the street from Streetlight Music and um, very busy place. Uh, sorry for all the ums. Very, very busy place. So you know they had good food. All right. Let's get some more tape on here. And I had a BLT with avocado. It was delicious. Okay. I'll flip this over. Now for the gift receipt or gift card, um, we are going to, I think I'm going to save the whole email and I'm going to put it in here. Am I going to save the whole email? I don't think I'm going to actually. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut out. Let's see. need that whole big piece of paper in there. I just want the part where it says the gift card and I have the funny note from the kids. Because that makes me smile. I did pick up a newspaper while I was there and a food and drink magazine, but I picked them up more to look through for uh, my glue books than I did to actually put anything in here. So I think I'm going to put those aside in the pile of stuff that I want to do other things with. And um, let's do a little journaling again. put a couple more of those pretty stickers that I made in here. Here's one of the ocean. Now we also um, gave blood and my daughter graduated. So let's do the graduation first because the graduation happened and then the Saturday afterwards we gave blood. And somewhere in there we went to the Habit Burger uh, restaurant with my dad. I think when we were, when he was here visiting for the graduation and we were out running errands the Friday afterwards. Um, so I do want to put this in here. And we all had the original char burger. So this is how I would handle this menu. Um, I would cut out the name of the restaurant. And I would cut out what we had. Char burger with cheese, number one. And I 
think I'm going to cut out the website address. Okay. So let's trim this a little bit. It's a little bit too big. I don't need all that white space. Okay. So we have our Habit Burger menu. I've got a bunch of things from the graduation, so um, which include the program, which this is the one thing I'm not going to cut up. I have a beautiful thank you note from my daughter, which I'm going to leave. I, here's the envelope it came in. I'm going to tuck it into the envelope and leave it hanging out like this, and then I want to paste it in like that. So we're going to put tape on the back. It was the most beautiful thank you note for my daughter. She's turned out to be just a beautiful young lady and we're very proud of her. She did something her mother never did. I never finished college, so yay for her. Actually, I'm gonna stick it here. Love that. And I'm going to stick, um, I think I want to put it here. I'm going to put this picture. It's not a great picture, but this is one I took of her actually walking across the stage. So I'm going to put that there. Yep, that works. This is a napkin from the bar next door to the venue where the um, graduation was. We all uh, we got there early because we dropped her off, and then all the grown-ups went next door, and we all had to drink. Um, while we were waiting, so I had ginger ale, everybody else had alcohol. All right, so I'm gonna separate my napkin. I am going to tear it around the bar uh, logo. Yep, that'll work. Uh, I need my matte medium. Okay, matte medium. And a brush of some sort. Okay, now I'm going to grab, do I have any in here? Of course not. I'm going to grab one of my clear pockets, if I can remember where I stuck them. Maybe. Yep, I found them. Alright, one of my clear sticky pockets, and I'm going to put it down here. We're gonna fold. I'm gonna fold the program. Okay. And stick it in here. Yeah. So um, I do want to dry this. This is gonna be too wet. So let's give that a little dry. I'll be back. I got it in. I got this dry. I did a little bit of journaling. Um, we're going to flip the page. I did a, put a little note here on the flap of the thank you note and her picture is inside there. Now we want to take the Habit Burger um, restaurant thing and I think I'm going to um, put it back here. Oops, helps if I don't put it upside down, don't you think? All right, and then the little clipping of what we ate and their web address. So 
Sometimes my sticky tape gets the better of me. Put that there. And that there. sticky tape on the mat. So, you know, if it's not one thing, it's ten other things, right? Hopefully I can get that off. And then I also gave blood, so I'm going to put my blood donation stickers in here. My husband and I both went in. We go in with our group of Freemasons uh, every few months and we like to do for charity in one way or the other. One of those ways is blood donation. I'm going to take the blood donation pamphlet and I'm going to put it in another sticky pocket and stick it back here. I have a few more bits and pieces, but I don't need to, oh, I was going to say, save them. This is the receipt to my daughter's um, graduation celebration dinner. I'm actually going to save that. I'm going to put it in the pocket with the program. And this other stuff I picked up, but I don't think I want to use it. These are extra programs. I don't remember why I got the bank thing. I don't know. I, don't, I think I made a trip to the safety deposit box or something this last month. was so remem memorable that I don't remember why. Um, in the spa, I think those can all just go in the trash. But that's what I do. I just collect stuff, whether I think I'm going to use it or not, and um, bring it home. I'd rather have it than, and toss it than not have it and kick myself. So if you get behind, never fear. Just take a minute Take a deep breath and let yourself catch up. You don't have to fill it up with notes. You don't even have to fill it up with artwork. Just put your things in there. That's all you need to do. That's it for today, everybody. Don't forget to check out the video description for links to both all of my Facebook groups, including the My Year group, which is what this journal is for. As I said in the beginning of the video, and um, if you would like to support my channel by shopping in my Etsy shop or send me an email or check out my website or, you know, any of that stuff, send me happy mail. All that stuff's in the description, so check it out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Oh, hey guys. So in the video you're going to see is kind of a little bit of a long one, but it's one in which I spend some time closing up my May journal. At the time I'm filming this, I'm very, very aware that it's actually June 5th. <laughs> um, I am a little confused in the beginning of the video, but yeah, it's June 5th. So anyway, <laughs> um, you know, nobody's perfect and you know, the month just got away from me. So there you have it. Um, anyway, I did finally get it done and it's really greatly done and I love the way it turned out and how some of our elements came out this month. Um, they look so great in here. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. I don't have to show you all these. Oh, that's just terrible.